Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rec Bike Rebuild Garage. Today we're going to be working on our CBR 300 street tracker build, flat tracker build, whichever you prefer. Uh, we're working on day 14. Today we are going to be uh, reassembling the left and right foot pegs, uh, brake lever, shift lever, reinstalling them onto the frame. We're going to be uh, fully assembling the front brake caliper and mounting that onto the forks assembling the uh, front brake master cylinder and clutch perch assemblies. We're also gonna be putting on the drivetrain and sprockets and getting everything uh, adjusted and torqued down to torque down the spec. So if you guys are ready for a bunch of stuff to make this bike look more like a bike, come on with me, it's time to go. We're going this way. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another day in the Rec Bike Rebuild Garage. Today, we are back working on our CBR 300 flat tracker build. Day 14, we've been working on this thing for 14 days uh, with a lot of stuff in between. And uh, today, we are going to move forward, try and get the chassis lined out, uh, but we'll see where we're at. First thing today, we're going to be assembling the rear sets that we disassemble for powder coat, getting those remounted onto the bike. Um, so we're gonna start off with a bunch of hardware, little workout here on the bench top, and then we'll start bolting stuff onto the bike. So if you guys wanna move on in nice and close, so you see what I got going on over here, come on in, we'll get to work. We have enough clearance now yes so now the washer goes on and you can see the groove for the snap ring and all that stuff will go together quite nicely now let me just clean this up a little bit back to my get it on everything grease bucket Probably should have got another one of these, but if you could see how big the gap is in here, we're just going to use a set of pliers. I'm going to pinch this down so that gap is a bit smaller, so we'll get a tighter fit on our part. So we're just going to give it a bit of a squeeze. And now our gap is itty bitty, and we'll get a nice, nice tight fit. Okay, it's in there. So now, where's our brake light switch? So uh, we have our left and right foot pegs, uh, heel guards, brake reservoir, brake pedal, shift lever, all this stuff is now mounted. We got everything in a real nice spot. Foot pegs are adjusted so there's just a tiny bit of tilt forwards. When you're sitting on it, your feet aren't just like totally flat, your toes down just a tiny bit. I think from here we're going to move on, we're going to stay on the back of the bike and we're going to move on to... Uh, string in the chain. We also have to put the side stand on which I have all the hardware for right here. It is kind of dirty, but um, you know what? I'm gonna do the side stand first. I'm gonna clean up the side stand all the hardware. I'm gonna put the side stand on now uh, I'll be back with you in one second 
and uh, we'll move on to the next thing in just a minute. So we're gonna do the side stand next, start with cleaning off all the nasty hardware. Shouldn't take too long, it should be fairly quick. So um, we got our rear sets on both sides. We just installed our side stand. There was a little bit of clearance issues that I had to re-clearance oh so gently with a pry bar. So now uh, side stand goes up, gear shifter works properly, foot pegs are in, everything looks real nice. You know what? While I'm back here and I got all these little parts laying around, I'm just gonna hang this tail light and bracket on here um, just cause all the parts are staring at me. So that should be a pretty quick install. Okay, so uh, foot pegs on, we got our side stand on. I just put this little uh, bushing and collar back in the bottom of the frame, which I do believe is going to be the mounting point for our exhaust pipe. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is we're going to reassemble with uh, all the stuff in here, the front brake caliper and mounting bracket. And we're gonna get this thing uh, assembled and uh, mounted onto the front fork. So we're gonna do that next. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we've got our front brake caliper reassembled and mounted onto the bike. Our next step is going to be to reassemble the front brake. Hey, look, the sight glass survived. Wow, it's pretty clear too. I'm excited about that because I was not looking forward to trying to put those in. I'm pretty happy about that. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna put together the uh, front brake master cylinder. Not sure if I'm gonna mount it on the handlebars because I'm not sure where everything's gonna go and I don't wanna scratch anything right now. So, but I at least wanted to get it together. So when we're ready to mount it, I don't have to mess with uh, assembling stuff again. So we're gonna put this together. We're not gonna install those, sweet. And uh, we're going to uh, just put it together, lay it aside for now, so. So we have our uh, clutch, perch, and new adjustable vortex lever installed. We have our front brake master cylinder assembled, switch on, again, vortex adjustable lever on here as well. I don't think I'm gonna put these on the handlebars right now because I really don't wanna scratch them up and we're not 100% sure where everything's gonna go at the moment. So instead of wasting my time on all that right now, I'm just gonna set these aside. I just didn't wanna have to uh, stop and assemble stuff again later, so. While I'm in the assembling mood, I figure I'd put it all together. So front brake master, uh, clutch, perch, and lever are all assembled. I'm gonna set these aside. And I think, uh, and I think we should move on to the chain and sprockets next. I think that will be a, a good way to possibly finish off the day. Yeah, it's about finish off the daytime too. Good, sounds good. So we'll set these aside, move on to the other side, get real dirty working on a chain and get this finished up for the day. So let's uh, move on over to the other side. Are you guys ready? I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Do you think it's silver or do you think we went a little as we usually do? I think we went a little as we usually do. <laughs> oh, that thing's gonna look so good on there. All right, let's get dirty. Actually, I need to 
mess around with the rear wheel a little bit. So when you are stringing a chain, you always want to make sure that you have the wheel as far forward as you can get it. Uh, for us, we're going to move the wheel as far forward as we can before the tire hits the front of the swing arm right here. And then uh, we're going to string the chain from there. That shit looks good. Let go. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with our 300 flat tracker build. We've got a bunch of little stuff onto the machine, all the little chassis stuff that gets bolted onto the frame, front forks, rear brake caliper, chain, everything is adjusted, ready to go. Feeling pretty good about this. We've got our rear tail light uh, mounted with the bracket. Wiring is up here, ready to get plugged into the harness when that goes in. Um, we're moving right along on this thing, feeling pretty good about it. I think we're gonna leave you for today and we'll be back. Uh, man, I don't even know when we'll be back. We'll be back next time. And I believe next time we're gonna start working on the electrical, so. Um, we try to get all the mechanical stuff out of the way first and then shift gears completely to full on electrical head first. So we're not bouncing back and forth. I hope you guys enjoyed what we did today on our CBR 300. If you guys out there uh, enjoy motorcycle content here on this channel for as little as $5 a month, you guys could possibly win this bike or the next bill that we're working on. So <laughs> please scoot on over to Patreon, top link below. Uh, everybody else out there, if, uh, if you like this content, please, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next episode. Outro crew, you know you guys are my favorite. Now I know this chain is black and gold, but do you think it's a clash or do you think it's a good fit with our titanium colored frame and accents on our wheels? Don't forget to put OC in your comments so we know it comes from you and we'll see you on the next episode.